Hello. Hello. What's up, you guys? Just bored. Thinking about Ghana. It was just so, so beautiful. But so freaking sad. <clears throat> so sad at the same time because of um, just knowing the history. So, yeah. What are y'all doing? But, yeah, man. Um, it was still such a breathtaking place. People were so beautiful and chill. Like, everybody's so chill. And the day... The day just, it just takes its time. It was really lovely. So, yeah, it was, um, it was definitely a surreal experience. Oh, you're finna drop your daughter off at school? That's great, Jay. It was, um, it was very, you know, it was crazy to know. Like going to the castles and knowing that the Dutch, the Portuguese uh, governors or, you know, leaders at the time, they were at the top floor, the top floor, you know, in these comfortable places while like black people were at the bottom in, in places that weren't properly ventilated. It's just so crazy to me. Like, it just won't. It doesn't really leave my mind, like, how fucked up. And it changes my whole view of, like, oceanfront property, you know? And it's like, one, I guess, shouldn't feel away when they're looking out at the ocean from their house. But it's just like, these people lived in a castle where they, they got to see the fucking water. While people were at the bottom dying and living in just inhumane conditions. And that that shit, it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. And it hasn't been like leaving me just how fucked up. And just even my mind like thinking, okay, like um, just the ignorance of like me thinking, you know, we... You know, the start of um, the inhumane traumas that Africans went through. And, you know, it started on the ships or the plantations. It's just like, no, like it started way before that, which is wow to me. People just getting, oh, my God, I'm sorry. This is so dark and sad, but. Um, people just getting taken advantage of and sexually assaulted, like, in jail, in these prisons. It's just, in the prison, it's just sad. It really fucked me up, man. It really, really, really fucked me up, man. Because, um, yeah, it didn't start on the boat. It didn't start on the plantation. It, it's just, it, yeah, so... The irony um, of just how beautiful of a place Cape Coast is, it was just so horrifying as well, you know? But, you know, people, so beautiful, so, so beautiful, so sweet, so gorgeous, so beautiful. Oh, my God. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I guess you know it definitely needed needed to happen. I'm happy. I'm happy that it happened because you know you kind of live in this fucking self centered world sometimes, self centered lens, and it's just like, no man, to life. There's levels to fucking trauma, man. Levels to trauma sadness and um mm, mm. but yeah what's up y'all i'm so happy i got to visit too 
Um, it was just beautiful. But, um, yeah. I definitely want to keep coming back, you know. Um, I partied a lot. <laughs> I partied a lot, and I want to, um, next time I want to spend more time during the day, you know what I'm saying, in Accra and other parts of Ghana. Like, that would be a dream to just experience more daytime stuff because my day definitely started at 2 p.m. every day. And, <clears throat> and I, um, man, was I partying until like freaking 5 a.m. Oh my God, my friend, he was doing way too much because I fell asleep in the club. But here's the thing. The club don't close until like 5 a.m. Like, of course, I'm always, of course, my grandma ass is asleep in the club. But, um, and y'all know most of us in, um, you know, California, Atlanta, wherever, you know, the club closed at damn like freaking two, three, maybe four. Whoa, you live in Cape Coast? Yeah, that's dope, public. Yeah, I did fall asleep in the club. Um, I fell asleep in a Vegas club, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it happens. I think it, you know, it also happens because we're really up late in the club. Like, what? Why are we coming home at 8 a.m.? But it was just beautiful. It was not Grand Rising. Jay, stop. Jay, stop. Not Grand Rising. Oh, thank you, SMC Neil914. Okay, Vanity, can we talk about it when you're tired? Get tired. Okay, let's talk about how the roommate fell asleep in the DC club. Listen, I told my friend, she, my friend, she barely even has a sip of anything. She's asleep in the club. Every time. Every damn time. Thank you, Eye of Alpha Woman. Thank you. But yeah. Did you meet Wiz? No, but I wish I did. I wish I did. Um, he's really great. It was really wonderful. Like, um, Just hearing a lot of new music. A lot of new music. That was beautiful, too. Ari, didn't you work at Starbucks? Yeah. You know what's crazy? One time, <coughs> sorry. One time I worked, I was working at Starbucks. <coughs> sorry. And Omarosa, she walked in. She walked in and she ordered something. <laughs> and I just was staring at her. And she was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, in my head, bitch. You're fucking Omarosa. But not not bitch in a negative way. But like, what the fuck? Like, you just being you casually walks into Starbucks? No, it's not COVID. Um, it's allergies. But anyway, sorry if that came off. Wow, but it was just like, oh my God, Omarosa is in a DC Starbucks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, have you... Over, huh? Have you ever throw up alcohol and drink up again? No, I've never, I've never gotten sick from alcohol and started drinking again. No, if it ever gets that far, which it hasn't in, man, years, I want to say I have not gotten sick. Um, I I don't continue to drink. I am like, okay, body says stop. <laughs> And, um, I, I will go to sleep and like deal with that hangover pain, you know, but, um, yeah. Oh my God, Leroy, I would love that. Can you show your face? Absolutely not. Because, mm, I just woke up and I look a mess. Girl, I'm new to D.C. Let me go outside so I can see my sis. Where you be? I'm on the way. Honey, not with Florida and Omarion. 
baby, I need you to stay inside. JK, follow your heart. Wear your mask. Be careful. Sorry for being a grandma. <sighs> Sorry for being a helicopter mom, okay? But, um, yeah, I'm not really in D.C. right now. Um, I've just been chilling on the West Coast. When you come into Atlanta, hopefully soon, because that's the land of the that's the land of the music making, honey. Like, I think I'm gonna cancel my lease and move back to Atlanta. It's a very productive area. So is LA. I just the blackness be so inspiring. I just be feeling so um, at home, so comfortable. Um, yeah, I just do. Just more comfortable, you know? So, and then it's just beautiful, just, you know? There's so many beautiful places in life, like so many beautiful places, but it's just, it's just nice to see people that look like you. You know what I mean? And people that you know, like, I don't know. Maybe they appreciate you. They see you. I I don't know if... Anyone necessarily appreciates me more in Atlanta than California, but it's just like sometimes in California, not that this matters, it's a self-centered point probably, probably narcissistic point, uh, but it's just to not feel invisible. It's like so many places in the world make me feel invisible. It's like it just seems like with black people, you know, I just don't feel invisible, you know, Um but it's just like maybe perhaps that's ego. Um But yeah, when I was on the um tour in the slave castles in the slave fort, um the man, the tour guide, he was amazing and so sweet. He was like something something. I forgot what he said because my memory be shot, but something something my sister um, man, when he said that, <laughs> that alone made me feel just so, like, welcomed, so embraced, because it's just, you know, sometimes I feel like there's divisiveness that can happen, and there's, um, so much just anger sometimes, and it's like, damn, it's nice, like, to be, not anger from anyone in particular but it's just sometimes I, like I can understand why people would choose divisiveness but it's just like man to feel embraced to feel loved like that is that is what's so important man unity you know unity unity is like it's so important it's just I'm just not for anything less than it. Atlanta ain't the only city with black people. I know that. I know that. Show us your face, all right? Y'all are, like, really um, doing the most. But, um, yeah... Did you cuss anybody on the live out yet? No, I didn't I didn't curse somebody out today. That's why I resonated with Afro Caribbean beat music, even if I wasn't born there. It's validating. Wow. Yeah, I feel you, honey. I totally feel you. Are you living in ATL? No. I wish. I miss it. I think it's time to come back. One thing. One thing about black women, they not going to show their face anymore. Way new scales, get the hell on. I'll show you my motherfucking face. Like, stop. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Piece of shit ass fuck. Get the fuck on. Watch your mouth. I showed my face. I shouldn't have even read that out loud. It was word vomit. You know, sometimes you're just reading all the comments and then... Things just, man, I miss Ghana. Atlanta wants you here. Really? 
I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. I'm going to cancel my lease this morning. And I'm going to... Y'all, I just furnished my apartment. And it's just like... I'm really about to move this shit to Georgia. And this really about to be too much money. Too much motherfucking money to cancel this lease. The lady told... Y'all, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to talk about specifics. But, man. You live in the UK? That's lovely. Um, I miss London. ATL got... J call 143. Everyone does. Everyone. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. Do a show in mobile. Okay. L- low key this year, I might just like, you know, basically, I asked Afrochella to, if I could perform, you know, I knew, I knew I wanted to go to Ghana. So I was like, I asked them and it, it was truly a blessing. They helped me get to Ghana. And um, I think I want to just do that this year, like ask people like instead of kind of just waiting for offers to come in, because, you know, if it was up to just waiting for offers to come in, I would have never, ever in my life performed in gone. I mean, in Africa, <clears throat> because we're waiting for offers that just ain't the same that ain't going to be the same, like, there, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, no, I want to perform where I want to perform. So at the end of the day, I'm going to start taking things into my own hands. Like, it's been years, I feel like, since I've performed in D.C. And it's just like, why the hell is that? Like, what am I waiting for? And so now I'm on, like, this journey of just like, no, I'm about to just do what the fuck I want. Like... I'm going to perform where I want (laughs) because that is also like a part of like, that's what makes the job less like a fucking job. Like, you know, performing in certain places that just bring you peace. You know what I mean? DC brings me peace. Ghana brings me peace. Atlanta brings me peace. Philly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be there. New Orleans, you know? So I'm about to just start like, literally living my life the way I want to, you know. Oh, yeah, I haven't performed in D.C. in too long. Shit, I'm about to call some people up to do my own damn show there. It's ridiculous. Like, politics, and I'm done with the shit, you know what I mean? I'm done, done with the politics. I'm just trying to live my fucking life, you know. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Yes, California. Yes, Jersey. It's just you guys. I just I just want you to know that sometimes New York, sometimes California, like certain places, it's like it's a lot easier to to get a show. Or, you know what I'm saying? It just seems it just seems certain markets. It's like less likely, you know, you know, political wise, you know. Certain people in life, they don't want you. It's just stupid. But anyway, like I said, I'm about to start doing what the fuck I want. So, yeah. How tall am I? What does that have to do with anything? Five, six. Yo, Mookie, literally create our own shows. Exactly. I'm not I'm not intentionally sleeping on South Carolina, but I agree. It's the same thing. Like I wanna be in South Carolina. I wanna perform in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Also, I just I wanna expand like the music that I'm making, like just wanna expand. Like I wanna just different sounds and stuff. It's like man, like Are you still working now? Nah, but I 
I want to start. I just got a gym membership. I got like a million gym memberships. and I'm going to start because, you know, it's nice to be in a gym and just look at all the fine people just like on their different journeys. You know what I'm saying? Like that really is the inspiration. And that's maybe why it doesn't last for too long because, <laughs> well, somebody, me and this fellow Aries of mine, um, well, fellow Aries that I met through this IG chat, um, <clears throat> she was like, Aries are initiators, not finishers. And it's not something I should claim in my life, but it, it is it is rung true. It's rung true in my life. I can't front, I can't deny it. But, it, you know, I, I shouldn't speak it into existence, but it is what it is. <laughs> I just get excited and then I get over shit. Okay, Mike, I actually might hit you up. You know what's funny? I've been really wanting to um, box. I went someplace and I saw like this boxing club or whatever. And I was like, damn, I want to fucking fuck somebody up. Um, And uh, yeah, so low key, I think that's probably what it is. It's probably deeper than the gym. It's it's literally falling in love with a hobby and I would love to just fuck people up gently you know what I'm saying like um professionally so yeah boxing would be very very nice Mm -hmm. (laughs) oh man but then it's just like damn it's it's a real workout. Like you're burning way more calories there than I think a day at the gym. Like you're, it's really intense. Yo, side note, they need to let us start sending gifts in the comments. I guess so. Um, R M G underscore C E O four four. Shut the fuck up, okay? That is not a solution. Angela Simmons be doing her thing in the boxing ring. Oh, I want to see her. Yes. I'm going I'm to join some boxing today. How was the crowd at Afrochella? It was, like, amazing. Um, I felt like there were some people that knew me, and there was a lot of people just staring at me. <laughs> and it definitely was perspective because it was like, damn, I have a lot of work to do. And here I am back over here. Of course, I've always wanted to perform out there. But um, it's just people just, you know, waiting for the right opportunity to go. Like, no, like, don't wait. Just do it. Just go. And I'm so happy I did because it was a lot of people that found out about me. Oh, my God. Ari Lennox moments. Happy birthday, baby. Oh, it's when was your birthday? How was I supposed to know? <clears throat> Sorry, my bad. Um, I still have allergies from the trip, but um, it's not COVID. But yeah, what was I talking about? Shit. So yeah, I wanna um, yeah, I just wanna perform more in Ghana, and I wanna like, I don't know, promote my music more uh, to Ghanaian radio. You know what I mean? I don't know how it works, how it would work to like expand and you know what I mean? Uh, Yes, allergies, Nada. Oh my God. RMG, congratulations. I saw everything you said, maybe two things. You're getting blocked. Have a good day. You're going to be so bored because no one's going to give you this much attention in your life ever again. Fucking bitch. Filthy animal. Anyway. Uh, it's not COVID. I hate that we have to say that now. Yo, I be coughing like shit. And I have to tell people, it's, you know, I don't want to scare nobody. Especially if you get in a cab, like, because I stay in a cab. You know, I don't want people to get worried, like, damn. 
Like, I promise you, I just got tested. <laughs> Feels like a FaceTime call. And listen, my friends will tell you, like, I this is how I am on FaceTime. I don't like to show my face, you know. There was a time in life where I did, but then I, I found that IG Lives, they gain a lot more attention than normally. Like, um, when you put your face in the live. But a lot of people, they're not trying to see Syl and Ari. So it's easy to just, you know. You know, I'm not really, but in general, I'm not a FaceTime uh, person. It's like, you don't need to see how I look right now. Unless you my man and I'm about to bust it open for you on the FaceTime. I don't. I'm not. It's just, why are we showing ourselves to each other? Hey, what's up, Doc? How are you? Happy New Year. Oh, my God, man. I miss you. Hopefully, we can all get together soon, you know. Oh, I love you, too. I hate that we don't have each other's number. I feel like I don't know what keeps happening, but. Um, yeah. You, uh, ever in L.A.? Because maybe we can make some music. <sighs> Who's your celebrity crush, Ari? Oh, man, I'm done. I have no crushes anymore. My crushes be real life. You texted me last, but it's cool. What you mean? All right, you should do a podcast. Nah, I'm too wretched. I wouldn't know what to say. Like, what the hell y'all want me to talk about? You know what I mean? Like, no. Yo, why am I talking like this? I want you and Erica Badu on a song. That would be very lovely. Wait, I thought you lived in Georgia. Yeah, not anymore. I I told people I wasn't going to tell people, but I told people. Not anymore. Ari says she got a bae, no crushing. (laughs) That's funny. Ari's very much single. Single as a goddamn Pringle. Are you dating? Oh, Afrochella. Hi, thank you. Oh, I love you guys. Thanks for bringing me to Ghana, like, literally, and being so sweet and accommodating. Like, literally, the whole trip. <clears throat> no, Afrochella is amazing. Like, I've never been treated so beautifully and gently by a festival. And it's no shade to anyone else, but they literally provided me with the utmost care. Have it, You literally have me wishing I had the same treatment like every day of my life here like you treated me like a freaking star and I'm just I've never felt so loved so thank you for just loving on me so much and giving me the opportunity um to you know do what it do out there but yeah I'm going this Christmas I feel you. I'm I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. Mar- I'm, wh- why I say I'm trying to go Maryland. I'm trying to go March. I'm trying to go for my birthday. I'm trying to go to springtime, summertime. You know. It's just you for me. Your voice is very therapeutic. Thank you. morning yeah i just want to just keep traveling that's the african treatment we treat people like royalty yeah ray i really did feel like royalty it was awesome it was really awesome almost airy season oh my god i can't wait 
I'm excited for Pisces season two. And, you know, Aquarius, they are, they are. Hey, Brittany. <clears throat> Hi, Zion's in school. Are you wanting to expand to different genres to collaborate with different artists? Yeah. I, as long as it's, like, natural, you know what I mean? I I definitely want to do that for sure. Oh, my God. Tiwa, abso fucking root Lee. First of all, I got to hang out with Tiwa. That was a dream. That was a dream. And um, she is so beautiful. Oh, my God. So fucking beautiful. I just want to look like her. Like, she just be so gorgeous every day. Just, oh, my God. Her dress was breathtaking. And her music is everything all over. Yo, first of all. Tiwa is life. Love Tiwa. <clears throat> Sorry, I sh- I should probably clear my throat. Oh, thanks, Crystal. That would be cool. Maybe one day. Oh, love you too, Jasmine. Well, I guess I'm going to get the hell out of here because I really have nothing else to say. Theraflu, sister? Damn. I I don't think I need Theraflu. It's like, I'm not like, it's not a cold. Just. I hear you, Vicky. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you went through that. I'm really sorry. How receptive was the crowd in Ghana? Yeah, so like I was saying, it was like a beautiful crowd. And um, I feel like I was getting everybody happy. and um, Or a lot of people happy. And um, yeah, I just feel like after, I, I feel like I got, I maybe turned some people to my songs, you know? It was very nice. So what movies have y'all been watching? I watched Ava for the second time. I love that movie. I love that actress. Ari, stay on live. I called out sick today. No, because I got shit to do today. So I'm not staying on live. Yo, I have nothing to do today. You saw John Wick 3? Was it good? Was don't look good, uh, don't look up good. I've heard like different things, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. Yo, I watched Hollow Man. I watched Hollow Man last night, and that that movie was creepy as fuck, and it was crazy. It reminded me of the Invisible Man, and so I researched it, and it it was interesting enough. It's inspired by the Invisible Man that came out in 1933. <laughs> but um and then the re- the reboot came out in uh later. But um but yeah, Hollow Man, that was fucking creepy as hell. <clears throat> I'm having the same issue. You're not sick sick, just a lot of mucus stuck in your throat. I've been taking Mucinex fast release and it's right ridden the mucus. Yo, last time I had some Mucinex, unless they give me an endorsement, I puked right away. I, I don't know what is in that shit, but my I something in me is like, get this out of you now. And I, it happened twice on two separate occasions, so I, I don't I don't do that. I've seen. Wait, did I see clickbait? I think I saw clickbait. I haven't seen House of Gucci. What's that? How is it going? I've been watching one on Amazon Prime. I know it's a show. Oh, one-on-one on on Amazon Prime, but I used to watch it a lot. Oh, I was watching that a lot on Netflix. Yeah, I believe I finished most of it. That was my one of my favorite shows growing up. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Oh, Lady Gaga is a great actress. So I will definitely be watching it. Ginger Tea? Okay. What's XL3? Why do I feel like you're setting me up? Spider-Man was pretty good. Really, was it? Okay. I have seen Really Love. I thought that was a really beautiful movie, actually. Um, I haven't seen Bruise yet. I need to. I've just been on my um psychological thriller, sci-fi thriller shit. Like, that's my favorite shit to watch. Wait, Unforgivable? No, I haven't. Wait. Did I see that? No, not me forgetting if I saw this. And I think I did. I did see that. Yes, that was good too. I, I wish, I wish the ending, I wish, sorry, I just wish there was just more. But like, that shit was fire too. I like that. Oh, thanks, Ernesto. I haven't seen Truth or Die, no. Take shots of apple cider vinegar like... What? Okay, I don't know if he was being shady at the end. Start taking CMOS Ari for your immune system. You know what's crazy? I got that shit in my fridge, and I just... I'm not... I'm just not taking it. I don't know if that sounded like a fart, but I'm actually just playing with my blinds. So I don't want you to think like, oh shit, like Ari is mucusy and she's farting. Like, well, who cares? You know, it's like, doesn't everybody got some mucus sometimes? I feel you, real MR person. I, I feel you. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper, lemon juice, honey. It will bring the mucus up. Okay, all right. Because it has just been, like, sitting in there, and it's just like, girl, like, come the fuck out. Mix the sea moss in with fruit smoothies. I ain't got time to be doing all that. But you're right. I just, I just don't feel like doing that because then it's just like I have to wash it. <laughs> and I like a clean house. So anything that's too much work, y'all, I made a fucking steak. I made a motherfucking steak. I'm going to show y'all the steak I made. Damn, how do you show pictures? Fuck. Oh, I don't know how to show pictures anymore. This is... Oh, my God. How do you show pictures now? Oh, my God. Okay, so I don't know how to show pictures anymore because Instagram is always changing something. My grandma asked, can't hang. What temperature do I like what? In my house? Oh, my God. It was a ribeye. I made a fucking steak, and it, and I am so impressed. And I just know that I will be able to provide for myself. I will be able to provide for my children because, man, <clears throat> we do not have to eat out every day because I cooked the shit out of that motherfucking steak. Now I just have to master, like, potatoes. Potatoes. Mashed potatoes. What temperature you like your steak? Um, you mean like medium, medium rare, all that shit? I guess I like it um, medium. Well, you need to boil hot water and put lemon limes in emergency. Breathe over the steam and drink it at the end. Okay, you guys, damn. But thank you, uh, thank you. Peppermint oil at the bottom of the shower. Keep steaming. Lean over a bowl of... Damn, y'all are really annoyed at my mucus. Okay. Damn. 
The steak is why you don't feel good. I was not feeling good before the steak. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Stop. The steak gave me life. The steak gave me hope. The steak made me feel at peace. I was so proud of myself for not only deciding to cook, but I cooked it and I cooked it well. And oh my God, like, oh my God, it was so good. It was so fucking good. It was the best thing I ever made for myself. And the thing is, I'm not even a steak bitch. Like, it's very rare that I steakify. But, like, I don't know. Towards, ever since I turned 30, I just started fucking with beef like crazy. I don't know. It's like, it's just, it's just, I don't know. Just been a little beef patty. What did you cook with the steak? Just the steak. <laughs> That's why I said I need to work on my sides, but I just cooked the steak and I ate half and I gave the other half to G because he just assumes every time red meat is being cooked, it's for him because it usually is. So, yeah, I think I'm going to cook the other one today. I used to make great pepper steak before I stopped eating red meat. Damn, just Sarah. That's amazing. No, I don't care how y'all feel. I don't give a shit how y'all feel about the fact that there was no motherfucking sides. Because guess what? It was progress that I made something. Like, y'all not about to motherfucking make me feel some way. It was progress that I made something. If you're craving steak, most likely you need the nutrients. The iron in steak is good for us women in our 30s. Damn. Yeah, I probably need mad iron. I probably need all that shit, you know? Everything, all of them, all of the, all of that. Boil some water, put the potatoes in, add a little salt, some butter, cook for 20 minutes. Okay, cook for 20 minutes. I'm going to remember this. Drain water, mash the potatoes up. Red potatoes are the best. Add a little milk, butter, mix it, and bam, you done. Wow, Chan. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to screenshot what you said. Oh, shit. Sorry. Ah, oh, shit. I missed it. Half of the people can't even cook steak. You did good art. Thank you. I wish I could show y'all a picture, but IG doesn't. Oh. Oh, I found it. Y'all are going to probably fry me because it's probably going to look bad. But <gasps> y'all, look at how much money I paid in gas. Look at how much money I paid in gas. This was the first time I ever filled my tank up out here. <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely the fuck ass not. Where is my Kia Soul? Shit, now I don't know how to change the picture. Shit, man. What state is this? California? Yeah, I got a pickup truck. That's Maybe that's why. But, yo, how do you... Oh, here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to find... Um... Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm being careful. This was uh, me today looking a hot ass mess. <laughs> um, this was me today looking a hot ass mess. Yeah, I drive a um, a big old pickup truck, and that's probably my fault, you know. But yeah, I was gonna wear this top. I was gonna like wear this top with the sweatpants, but um. I stained it with freaking deodorant because I be putting the whole thing of deodorant on because I don't play about my armpits. Um, but anyway. Oh, shit. How do you? I never know. Y'all, I never know how to exit out. Okay. All right. Come on. Comment section. Okay. So how do I? Ah, fuck. No. Okay. Ah, fuck. Oh, here we go. Stop sharing. 
Oh no, where are my comments? Oh, there we are. Okay. Um All right, so let me show you this steak I made. <gasps> This boy in Ghana, this guy, this guy in Ghana gave me this bracelet and I will forever cherish him because, yeah, every time I think of this bracelet, I'm going to think of him and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this bracelet, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it forever. Who who going to check me? The fuck? Um, you know... It's the simple things. It really is the simple things. Like we went on a date. He took his bracelet off and he gave it to me. And it's just like, man, it's the simple things. Like it meant so much to me. And I swear, I literally always thought it would be, like I said, a trip. You heard me say it before, a trip to Greece, a purse. No, I just like thoughtful shit, thoughtful, meaningful sweet shit man like i like being surprised i didn't go into a date expecting to get anything but it just it meant it just meant so much to me yeah he was just i'm gonna show you the steak damn but um hold on let me let me try to let me here we go okay stop sharing okay let me Okay. Oh my God, y'all, guess what? So I was talking to a friend today. <laughs> Mind me. Um, excuse me, I know, like, I, this is like a whole PowerPoint presentation. But I was talking to my friend today about Yahoo Chat, y'all. I was like, I was like 10. Okay, I was 10. I literally Googled a sexy black girl and I literally took this girl's picture and she was so gorgeous and she I remember she had on this green top and I stole her picture and I used it as my motherfucking profile picture and I would just go on there looking for a man y'all I've been thirsty since I was like two years old um I was on yahoo chat just yo when I when I tell you by the grace of god I'm alive and that like because what people literally get stolen and kidnapped and assaulted and I, you know i is by the grace of god like i've i've never met anyone on there or anything but it's just um it's just wild the things that i would do that my parents did not know i was doing <laughs> oh my god i was catfishing yes i was catfishing and um it was just a lovely experience. I, I remember being in the hip hop and R&B chat rooms. This shit was so lit. Do y'all remember? So fucking lit. Oh my God. But anyway, um, it was just a great time. I miss these days. I miss Yahoo chat. I know it's dangerous, but it was just something so cool about, um, about, just I don't know talking to people and like standing out in the chat room like it was so great. <laughs> you were, yo everybody probably was catfishing for real. Okay. Okay, this time I'm going to find a stake because I don't want to accidentally click something that's going to um incriminate me okay please don't judge me i don't give a fuck how you feel but this shit tasted the fuck good listen i don't hear me out i don't give up how you feel but this was the best thing i ever made for myself i don't care how you feel i don't care how you feel i cooked the luke hi oh my god Luke, why? This is so random. Luke, uh, sorry, but I just, I needed y'all to know. I'm sorry, I was excited. 
But I needed y'all to know, like, I cooked me some steak and it was good. I swear. I don't care how you feel. It was good. It was half eaten. I would, yes, I was eating it out the pan. I don't care. Okay. Could be the Viking blood. I don't know. But I ate it and it was great. I don't care. I don't care if you think it doesn't look great. I know it does. I was excited. It tasted great. Ari, please get cast iron. Non skillet, non stick skillets cause cancer. Thank you so much, Luke. Thanks for coming. Uh, but um, okay. Thank you for that knowledge. I will. I thought that was French toast. Fuck you. I look. It was well seasoned. How about that? How about that? It was well seasoned. <sighs> fucked up <laughs> did you put some a1 honey no need baby no need the fuck the seasonings was on point okay the fuck shit i'm at dinner with 32k what do you mean let's talk seasoning you want to know honestly i don't even want to tell y'all because i don't want y'all to judge me but it was very simple um so I didn't marinate it or anything. I didn't. It was just a very random thing, but it was um, salt and pepper on both sides. Let them let one side cook for three minutes. Let the other side cook for three minutes. Um, Oh, yeah. I put a little olive oil in the pan. And um, then what the fuck did I do? Oh, and I put some Italian seasoning. Trust me, in the future, I would like to get some specifics like you know, rosemary, um, things like that. But like, yeah, salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. Um, yes, non is they taste great out of a cast iron skillet. Um, no, please, no. I didn't use butter because I'm not allowed to have butter right now. It's a long story. But wait, can y'all please not do this to me? It tasted fine. It did catch fire. It caught fire and it was it was intense. I was like, oh Chef Ari. But um hire a chef, fuck you. Um but it it worked out, you know what I'm saying? Let me just let me just get this out of here because y'all got me fucked up. Stop sharing. Okay. We are good to go. Now that's over. I, I Okay, so here's the thing. I feel you on the onion powder and the garlic powder, but if only you believed me that even without onion powder and garlic, it tasted so good. I, I really wish y'all believed me. I feel you on how garlic and onion will always enhance everything, but I just was just like, let me just try salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, and it was great. I really just wanted... I just wanted the meat to be enhanced with just salt and pepper, and it was great. Please stop. What? I thought I heard a knock. Minecraft meat, please. Come on, man. This is some bullshit. Well done or medium. It was like medium. Well. Exactly. A lot of people don't understand. Salt and pepper is all you need. It wasn't the salt and pepper that I was tasting. It was the crisp. The fat. Everything. I did hear a noise. And I don't know what it was. But I'm not going to find out. With steak, just salt and pepper is fine. Exactly. I don't even have time for these people. They be doing way too much with their steak. It was not meant to taste like an onion. At least not this time. Oh, it's okay, Haley. I'm used to the shade. Uh, They enjoy. They enjoy shading me, but guess what? (laughs) They didn't get to eat it. They didn't get to eat it and be able to taste how beautiful it truly was. I can't convince you through a picture, okay? I can't convince you through my words, my soul, through an IG live.
But I know what that stick did for me. I know what the fuck that stick did for me. My grandma made the best fried chicken with just salt and pepper. See, exactly. Can we talk about it, CJ? And I believe you. I believe you. You said my grandma. I believe you. They can't cook a pack of noodles. Exactly. What sides are you going to include next time? A pack of noodles, probably. And um, honestly, some kale. I I would really like to um, master some roasted potatoes and uh, some chopped up kale. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on my bread today. Mika, get the hell on. But I've always been a simple person. Like, you know, I I love bread with either olive oil or some bread. Like, I'm, I mean, or some butter. Like, I'm good with either or. Prefer the butter, of course. But I've always been a, a very simple woman. Where did I learn to sing? I don't know. I kind of. I kind of just grew up in church, I guess. Are you? Is it snowing there? No, it's not. How long have we been on here? Try chicken bouillon on your greens. It's the best. Mm. Oh, my God. I need to learn how to make. I'm go- Okay. Today, I'm going to make some motherfucking greens. Asparagus makes me feel crazy. It's just. It's just so much going on and then so much that goes on afterwards. Eat that shit on the plate next time. No, actually, the fuck? You won't be here. You won't be here to see if I do this. So how, how about, like, no. How about no? I'm not going to eat it on a plate. I'm actually going to keep eating it in the pan because it's my pan that I pay for and my motherfucking apartment that I pay for using my motherfucking seasonings that I pay for, my motherfucking steak that I paid for. How about no, I'm not going to do what you want me to do because you're freaking little perfect ass likes to use plates and you like to follow fucking rules guess what i don't do that shit okay i'm an aries i'm a motherfucking aries i'm me i'm not ever gonna fucking do things how you do it now maybe if i was cooking for two okay can we talk about it if i was cooking for two if i was cooking for a family if i was cooking for my family like maybe but look ain't nobody here ain't nobody fucking here Okay, it's new apartment, part two. Got me fucked up. Not no more, though. You don't got me fucked up no more. Oh, you didn't even have mashed potatoes. Honestly, um, you're right. And that was a travesty, but I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I just... I just wanted that steak, and I didn't want anything else. So that steak, I ate it. You know, honestly, it was a it was a miracle that the steak even got cooked because I literally don't cook. You know, so yeah. Boil some corn on the. Oh my God, y'all! I'm gonna figure out what to cook. Thank you. Thank you, but I'll be okay. Carnaldish.com has the best mashed potato recipe. Thank you. I'll I'll check it out, honey. Save me from the frozen hell <laughs> of North America. I do love me some frozen. I don't like the I don't like that. The ice, but I do love the snow. Cook a pot roast. That's underscore Rika. Oh, my God. Please teach me how to make a pot roast. Like, I'm telling you, I've just been just a beefy-ass bitch. Like, I just want all the beef in my life. Love you, too, Muvin Doe. Muvin Doe. Do. Dot you. 
you know she from here. We banged that motherfucking in D.C. Oh, <laughs> did I do that? Did I say motherfucking? Pot roast is so easy. Please, my brother, David, rest in peace. He um he made the best food in the world. The best potatoes, best best pot roast. He literally just made everything. He was so amazing that he was he made excellent gumbo. Yeah, he was the best. Oh, lamb chops. Mm mm mm. I gotta ask my friend Maddie how he makes his lamb chops. Girl, you better go on YouTube and learn how to cook that pot roast. All right, I'm gonna get a crock pot. Let's see your facial looks. No. Oh, Nelson Fuentes, you're so sweet. Come to Woodbridge, Virginia. I'll cook for you daily. Oh, that's so nice. I would like that. Pressure cooker will solve all your problems. I heard. Ari, we Aries are creative, and cooking a pot roast is easy for us to cook. The best way, too, okay? The pot roast is in the crock pot. Then add what you want. Wow. Like, how do you how do you know... Oh, I miss Os. I I don't want to say it wrong. Osun or Os? It's Osun. Oh my God! What is this? Aries are frog rat queens. Oh, I don't care what nobody says. You hating ass little shit! You're getting blocked. You're getting blocked, and you're getting blocked. Piece of shit. Bye. Hope you enjoyed that little fuck up. <laughs> You're gone. When the meat is done, you'll know it'll fall off the bone. Mm. Mm. Yes. I need the meat to fall off the bone. I just, all I just imagine is like celery and like carrots and. The meat and potatoes and what type of seasonings, y'all? What type of seasonings? Like salt and pepper. Oh, my God. Onions, please. Onions me, please. Would you put peppers in the pop ro pot roast? <laughs> pop roast, okay. Anyway, would you put the peppers in there or would you put some pepper in there? Tell me, please. Tender. Oh, paprika. Yes, paprika is the way to go. How you feel about cancers? My two best friends are Aries. Yo, so it's definitely like a love hate relationship with cancers. <laughs> They're so crazy, but so sweet. And I don't know, they seem to be. The sign that cares about me the most, but we clashed. We clash, though. We clash. And then it's an explosion. But still, even when we're not friends for a long time, we um, care for each other. And I still would trust the cancers in my life over a lot of other people in my life even from afar is I uh, cancer is literally so many of them I have a very deep deep relationship um with I love cancers but I'm also aware that we don't last very long what about Libras sorry I don't have anything for y'all Anyway, psych. <laughs> Libras are cool. Libras are cool, but um, I don't. We don't really last long either. There's uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, wait, is my cousin a Libra? Is my cousin a Libra? That's fucking crazy if she's a Libra because she might be the only Libra I like. Leos are top two and we not two. Leos be ruining lives, okay? <laughs> but so do Aries. Honestly, all these signs are a hot mess and... I don't know how y'all feel, but I, I feel like we should just create a new sign. Like, I was talking to my friend about this, and um, we're going to try to create a new one. Girl, talk about a Scorpio. Oh, my God. So calculated. So manipulative. So spicy. <laughs> Virgos. Oh, my God. Perfectionist. Oh my goodness, you're aware of the highway, which reminds me of Aquarius, perfectionist, you're aware of the highway, but very sweet at the same time. Pisces, oh my God, it's like trying to catch a fish with your fucking bare hands. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh God, I can't stand fucking Pisces. But I can. No, actually, I'm done. I'm done. Fucking weirdos. Sorry. Pikachu or... Ari, just say you don't like nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I feel attacked and complimented. Sorry, KT. My man and my best friend are Virgos. Wow. That's a lot. But I bet you they're so sweet, and I'm sure whatever sign you are is very compatible with them, and you can handle them, and y'all respect each other and love each other. Pisces the best. Okay, Juan. Are Libras liars? Hmm. Cancers are attention seekers? Ah, uh, no, the... A lot of cancers that I know, they actually are not that way at all. Maybe from the ones they truly love, but not like the world. Ari, I'm on a plane. Okay, baby, have fun on the plane. Who is he? Damn, did I miss Gemini? <laughs> oh, Lord. Gemini's. Geminis are, you know, I've met some sweet Geminis. I really have. I have. I have. I just, I can't trust them. I can't trust them and I don't believe them. I never do. I never believe them, never trust them, and never feel like they're there for long. It just feels like, you know, you... You just have other priorities, whether it's your kids or your job or whatever. Like, you're just never there. That's how I feel about Geminis. And they're just constantly changing. <laughs> That's, I, it's just genuinely how I feel about them. Um, but still sweet. Still sweet. Um, it's funny, like... Sometimes in my life, I've found that the love, the I'm, a, I'm drawn to people at different times. Like a few years ago, it was like a lot of Leos. It was a lot of Leos. And then now this year or last year, I've, I've, I felt like it was a lot of Geminis and uh, Cancers. What about Aries? Absolutely not. The worst sign. We're... Aries are literally the worst sign, unless you're evolved and unless you literally get it the fuck together. We're childish, um, extremely self-centered. I don't know if we see anything that's going on outside of our fucking ridiculous fucking shits that we're going through. And uh, we're very stubborn. We can be very fucking mean. But at the end of the day, we can also be very, very giving, too giving. Very nice. 
I feel like as an Aries, I forgive, but I don't forget. So it comes out along the, like down the line. Like, I'm just like, um, yeah, hell no. Like, you know, a trigger and then it's over. Like, but do you remember when you did this to me? You know, but <clears throat> honestly, we take no shit. Like, we don't like disrespect. We don't like disrespect. We're not afraid to call someone out on it. Um, oh man, we are stubborn. When we, when we feel like we are right, we are right. And it's, it, it might take a while to realize, nah, bitch, you're wrong. You're actually wrong. Now nah, apologize. You funky bitch. Apologize. But <sighs> sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Capricorns, not my favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be real with you, Aries. I mean, but this is all perspective, and it could all be bullshit. Okay, I don't mean to shade other Aries in here. I I think Aries, Gemini, and Leos are very similar, actually. And it took me a long time to realize that because I, I would always side-eye Gemini's, but low-key, I kind of feel like we're very similar. Oh, and Sagittarius. Um, it's just that spice factor. Oh, and maybe a little, mm, not Scorpio. But it's just that spice factor, you know? Mm. Sagittarius are a lot like Aries, I believe. I think they might be a little bit more peaceful <laughs> than Aries, but they're definitely like free spirited, sweet, creatives. I could be completely wrong. There could be like a lot of wild Sagittarius out there. Oh, but aren't they called nicknamed Sagittarius? <laughs> so I don't know. Capricorns, come on with it. If y'all know how many and what celebrities are Capricorn, y'all would have more respect. I'm sorry. This is why I shouldn't do this. Because I'm sure people, like, take it personally. These are literally based on, um, like, experience my own, like, personal experiences that are probably not accurate. They're never accurate. Anything is, nothing is accurate. You know? <laughs> Did you date a Taurus? I did once. It was very quick. I didn't I didn't like it. Yo, there was another Taurus in my life. I think he was a Taurus. He was so sweet and gentle. But he was too gentle. I'm a spicy girl. It's funny because I have Aries and Sag in my big three. Ooh. Ooh. Leo and Aries are definitely the most fiery of the fire signs. But Sagittarius, we have that fire in lesser rational amounts. I knew it. I knew Sagittarius wasn't as spicy. But Leo, and yeah, Aries, we're, we're literally the child. The youngest, I think, of the Zodiac. That's what I heard. And, um, yeah, it's just like a little fucking brat. Like a little spoiled brat. A little... My middle name is Extra and Drama. All right, what's your rising moon signs? Um, I don't know, honey. I don't know. I was born March 26, 1991. I think I was born... At 10.36 p.m. or 10.38 p.m. Yo, I've been telling people the wrong time for years. I thought it was... I'm... St <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, a Leo and Aries couple is the best? Uh, no, absolutely not. It is... Um, it, In my experience, it was horrifying. Aries is the fire sign of the Zodiac. We are the leader. Wow. Ari, how are you not tired? My sleeping is messed up from Ghana. 
I think. And um, so I woke up at like 4 a.m. I want to say I got on here at like 6. So I've only been on here an hour, right? Or no? Can someone vouch for me? It hasn't been longer than an hour. Never trust and believe who? Libras, I agree. Wow, damn. I say it's hard to trust and believe anyone. Aries are God of War. Really? That sounds a lot more... That sounds terrible, actually. I don't want to be the God of a War. I'll be the God of a War. <clears throat> I loved Ghana so much. You're finna eat some Giordano's? Giordano's? How do you say it? Yeah, some... Uh, that's good. Have fun eating that. Yes, I'm a Aries, and I've been with the Scorpio nine years in Feb. Wow. Oh, my God. I could never. But low-key, it would be funny to see if I could. I should, you know what I should do in this year? Like, stop asking people their signs before we get too close. Because, like, maybe I'm creating things that don't have to be there. You know, projecting, putting things on to people. And it's like, maybe they're not even their signs. I am not my sign. You dated a Virgo before? Oh my God, I fell hard for a Virgo. I won't say it's love, because I still... It can't be love if it hasn't made it to a year, right? Or if it hasn't made it past a year. So, yeah, I fell hard for a Virgo. I like Vir. I used to like Virgos a lot, but now I'm just older, and I'm just like I'm not here for how they lead, how they want to lead. How like like I need you to be a little bit more spontaneous. Like I need you to relax a little bit more, and not fault me for my spontaneity. Like I don't want to feel like I'm always in class. Like, you know, like class as in like charm school, I'll say. Not class as in like I'm learning. Because I like to learn things. But like, I just kind of felt like in that relationship, I was just constantly in like charm school or something. Like, well, like for instance, like we went to the movies once, right? And he was like, I was like, let's just sit over here. He was like, but this isn't our assigned seating. I was like... Yo, come on, who cares? He was like, no, like, we have assigned seating. Yo, there was no one in that movie theater. Nobody. He was about to freak out. He was freaking out over the fact that we weren't going <laughs> to sit in our assigned seating. And um, now I'm more or less likely to do that. But it's just like, if nobody's in the movie theaters, like, I'm definitely going to sit where the fuck I want. Like, what? Yes, that's how I feel with a Virgo. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, and like, I just also one time, um, I just remember only seeing him. Well, I told y'all before. I'd only see him like once a week. And I thought that was strange because it's like we lived on the street from each other. Like, he just didn't like me. But anyway, <clears throat> So I'm like sitting like um we finally are hanging out. I bring him to my house and he he brings all of his art supplies and I was just like, "Man, can we just do something I want to do like which is fuck. You know, like or just can you show any interest in things that I like to do because it was literally all of his hobbies. I'm just going to say random hobbies to not be so specific, but you know, like we're you you want to go boxing, like I'm there for you, like rooting you on. You want to go do art, I'm there for you. You want to play your video games, like I'm there for you, like you know, when do you come into my world? He never came into my world. And so this night, like I freaked out. I was like, "Yo, we never do what I want to do." But, 
So um, that's where things really took a turn for the left. They're very, they want to do what they want to do. Someone said Virgos act like God left them in charge. (laughs) Yo, I agree. I agree. They do. Oh, my God. But I feel you. I feel you. Um, Not every Virgo. I've noticed it with a lot of Virgos. I mean, I, I'm i pretty self-aware to some extent. Like, I really honestly feel like I'm a textbook Aries. So it's no shade when I'm shading all these other signs because I know I'm the worst. I fucking know it. I know it. I am literally the good, the bad, the ugly of, like, Aries. I'm all of it. It's there. It's all there. And it's... And it was before I even knew what an Aries was. I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about in kindergarten. (laughs) Yo, I'm talking about, y'all want to know something? One time, one time, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Story time. I was in Virginia and I was sitting next to this woman's car. I don't know if I told y'all this. Sit next to this woman's car and I was looking into the, the window. Why was I looking into the window? Because I was, I was like sprucing myself up. I was waiting for a friend and I was just making sure I looked good in the mirror. So I'm looking in the car, not looking, not looking in the car. Oh, these are my nails. Not looking, but just like, you know, I'm like, you know. And the white woman, she comes out of her house. And she's like, I know what you're trying to do. I said, what? What do you mean? She was like, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to break into my car. You're trying to steal my stuff. I said, no, like, ma'am, no, I'm not. Like, I would like, I'm not. I'm just looking in the mirror. She was like, no, I know what you're trying to do. Get off my property now and go home. I said, yo, this is really messed up. Like, and she goes in her house and she closes the door. And I said, I walked up to her door. Y'all, I was like, I was 10. I think I was 10 or 11 or something. I was too young. And I was I was living in Ashburn, Virginia. Too young. I walk up to her door. I said, ma'am, not ma'am, miss. I don't know, know what the, I don't know. I don't know if I said miss or ma'am, but whatever. I was like, yo, like, I, like why would you talk to me like that? I don't know. I said it some way in 11, an 11 year old english (laughs) some way i was just like yo like i wasn't trying to steal from you and i i really feel like um you're racist and she was like oh please my husband my husband is black all this stuff i was just like and then from then on i don't remember i all i know is i was cursing the bitch out i said i'm gonna burn your house down that's i say wild shit I'm not necessarily going to do it, but I say wild shit. And it was just all anger. And this was before I even knew, like, I wasn't paying attention to Aries anything. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what an Aries, you know, like, I wasn't paying attention to that. So <clears throat> next thing I know, like, I'm walking home, the police find me. And they were like, <laughs> um, hey, I was like, Hello. They were like, yeah, so we heard that you had a dispute with this woman. She said you said you were going to burn her house down. I said, oh, uh, I said, they. she accused me of trying to break into her car. I wasn't going to do it. She was. They were like, oh, we understand. Um, uh, we believe you or whatever. And um, they, I guess, just told me not to say no shit like that ever again. They let me go. But I just... I found it weird. They found me. Well, duh, they found me. I'm the only black girl in Ashburn, Virginia at the time. But anyway, I was, um, like I said, before I even knew what an Aries was, I mean, the fire was in me. The fire has been in me because I don't play with disrespect. So my reaction can sometimes supersede the initial um, disrespect. Whereas if I'm just, if I could just calmly, maturely, you know, 
deal with this person uh, being rude to me, then I would be, I'll be okay. Like everything would be okay. They would be exposed for being a soulless prick. But like, I, I don't know how to let God handle it sometimes. I don't know how to let karma or um, anything handle it. And I feel the need to handle things. And um, it's just really just ridiculous. And it's got me in so much trouble all my life. All my fucking life. So I, I want to be like Asian doll. I really want to be like Asian doll because when I saw that clip, I was so pissed. I was so hurt for her. And I know me. I know me. And there's no way. I, there's no motherfucking way, you know? Um. So, oh, my gosh, she is gold. She is gold. She is the gold. <laughs> I want to be with anybody trying me, just laughing like, oh, like, like, oh, you're, you're, okay, like, you're stupid, like, okay, and, and just it being that, and like, we're over it now, or like, walking away, you know, so, but yeah, anyway, Oh my God, I was so angry. I was so angry watching that because I felt for her and I just felt the evil, evil colorist energy from that man and uh, the just the, um, I, I guess, misogynistic energy as well of just like, just how he t- he's speaking to women. It just felt, oh, and that made me mad. And that's another reason why. The internet is not where I need to be because shit like that. I just don't need to be seeing shit like that. It just, I was pissed. Anyway, my son is nine. He isn't a problem child, but he has told a white kid he will. Oh, my God. And Oh, my God. Oh, my God, moon child. <laughs> that is not okay. So I'm hoping, assuming the uh, the kid did something to him. You know, honestly, a grill would be cool, but I kind of just feel like my my implants and my crowns, they're already my grill. I don't think I need an extra grill. Oh, wow, I forgot you have a kid. Loud and wrong. I don't got no kid. I do have a kid. Um, let me show y'all my child. Let me show y'all my baby. Let me show you a non-incriminating picture of my baby. Sorry, I was cleaning the house. So it might look crazy. Hopefully nothing incriminating is in this picture we are in the clear yeah nothing incriminating yeah this is my kid yeah this my baby his name is g his name is galactus he's the sweetest thing and yo yesterday no two days ago or maybe it was last night i was coughing up a storm i was coughing like crazy He came in and he just lay with me. He was like, no, bitch, you will not die on me because I need more steaks. He just lay with me and he kissed me and it just was the sweetest thing. He was like, mommy, yo, when I came back home, he gave me the biggest hug and kiss. He would not and then he would not leave my side all day. The last like the last The first two days home, he was like literally would not leave my side. I don't want your feet in the hallway. I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, that's my baby. That is my baby. Mm hmm. Aw, Sheba. I want to get him. I want to get him a friend, a, a girl. Um. I want to maybe get like a little golden retriever because one time I took him to this dog place and he was just, I don't know, fucking on this golden retriever. And I just kind of feel like 
maybe he likes them. I don't know. So I think maybe like he can have like a girlfriend or I don't know. Do you have a dog trainer? No. Well, does he go on play dates or anything? No, he doesn't. He doesn't play on dates. He um he attacks on dates. That's the type of guy he is. He's um he's dangerous. A clingy baby. No, 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 no. G is not G is actually not clingy. He doesn't even like to be around most of the time. He likes to be by himself. And I, I wonder if it's if it's either introversion or, or I don't know if that's the right word. If he's introverted or if he's um, just making sure he's guarding like the fort. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But that's he likes to be on his own, usually downstairs, like watching the house um, or at my door facing towards like not facing towards me but facing the opposite way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Does he enjoy the dog park? He does, but for like maybe 20, 30 minutes and then we got to go because he's ready to fight. Honestly, we're so much like <laughs> We're so much alike. That's my baby. You're lucky because my Dalmatian is super clingy, but I love him. I love that for you. So Dalmatians are clingy. I know they can get snappy like my dog. My dog is, um, yeah, my dog is very, like, if he don't fuck with you, he don't fuck with y'all. I was walking outside. This lady, she was, she was walking towards us. She was. She was trying to talk to us, and G did not like that at all. He started barking at her, like, like anybody that, like, that he's not used to, like, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, like, I don't know, he's just used to certain just normalcy and anything out of the quote-unquote norm. He's just like, no, back up, back up. And it was nice to see, like, oh, wow, like, I think he could also tell I was nervous, too, but, how, like, by how she approached me. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, no, he was barking. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it made me happy because it's like, oh, you do love me because, G. Sometimes I've it's been hard to be able to tell over the years if G really loves me because, like I said, he is antisocial. He sometimes he feels like he's more food driven than he is like just genuinely trying to, you know, be affectionate. But yo, oh man, <clears throat> in December, he was depressed and damn near crying every day, and every time he was there, just. Oh my God, just jumping on me, licking my face. He did not, he does not play about me. And that is something that December brought me to the realization of like, G does not like it when I'm sad. He could tell, or if I'm on the phone, I'm yelling at somebody. He'll, he comes over there. He's not, he don't play that shit. Like, so it made me happy to see, oh my God, like he does love me. <laughs> so much but yeah don't get a dog it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot and um, a lot of responsibility a lot of worry when you go when you want to go on vacation or just go out of town or even go to work you know like you're hoping they're okay all the time so I'm sure that's like a baby glimpse of like what it's like to be a parent you know a baby glimpse you know he's an American Akita I think a golden retriever would be too, like a girl, because he don't like boys. This sounds like a podcast for real. How was G when you first got him? Oh my god! Oh, and that's another thing. Very aloof. Like it just didn't ever seem like he cared 
about anyone but himself, like me. Um, so very aloof. Um, so I didn't know if he gave a shit, but he did. He always did. Guess he was just figuring some shit out, you know. <laughs> He's just aloof and always trying to run away. Oh, that was another reason why I thought he didn't love me. Because he always wanted to run away. Ari is too early. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, he is big. Oh, my God. He's the craziest shedder. He sheds everywhere. I literally have to... If when preparing food, anything like I have to change my clothes, things like that, like to ensure like no, you know what I mean? I know that's TMI, but like, man, it's a very hairy situation. I'm so glad I didn't read your comment out loud. That is shady. Do you like cats? Some people are iffy. I feel they're nice because they're independent. And I also have moods where I'm either clingy or want space. G is like a big cat. I want a cat desperately, but G is a predator. And he um, he will eat the cat. You know, one time I was walking down the street with him. There was these cats. There was these cats in, in the um, alleyway. And he just started growling and they were hissing. He was growling. And they were hissing. I was like, oh, gee, come on. Let's stop stressing the cats. But when I tell y'all I want a cat so bad, if that would be the perfect life. Like a cat and a dog. You know what I'm saying? But G is, he don't like him. He don't like him. He don't like him. Yeah. Do you, I love cats so much. I love cats. Even though so many people in my life are allergic to them. But I'm just like, shit, like, you want to come over? Papa Benadryl, okay? No, uh, we can, we can go somewhere else. Like, shit, because no, like, if I didn't have G, I would have cats and and dogs. G is the reason why I don't have more dogs. If he was if his if he wasn't aggressive, I would get another dog. I still might try. I just don't know. I just want to be cautious of it. I want to be protective of all animals. You want a horse? Oh my god. Well, if you get a horse, just love on that horse and feed that horse and let that horse roam free and you'll in your um house, your uh land, girl, let that horse go. You know, just don't use that horse for anything other than just giving him kisses. Girl, follow your heart. Sorry. Maybe a trainer could help. Ah, uh, he's been trained so many times. I don't think nothing could help. I have a pit and a cat. They ain't like each other at first. Now they love each other. Wait, but... And I've heard of stories of, like, pits having... um, Not so... Like, I've heard the opposite of that, of a pit and a cat. um, And it ends really horrible. So, like, I... I feel you, but I just don't want to be heartbroken coming home and... My baby is hurting my other baby. Can I get a kiss? Fuck out of here. You're blocked. What's a Maine Coon? Love you, Ari. I just found out you're a D.C. native like me. Do you still live in D.C.? And if if so, would you ever move to another state? Oh, babe, no, I don't live in D.C., but I live in Maryland. And um, one day I would like to get a house in D.C. That is definitely the ultimate goal in life is to get a house in D.C. I, I really want one everywhere. Oh, my God. Wow, wow. 
What are you doing in here? I'm outside your crib picking up my dick. Shut the hell up. You don't even know where I live. Boy, bye. We ain't outside nobody crib. You ain't going nowhere. Maine Coon. Oh, I do like Maine Coons. Yes, aren't they like big? Like they're like a big cat. Yeah, I would like a big cat. I can't believe Bow Wow came in here. Boy, bye. I've heard getting a kitten and introducing them to the dog over time is ideal. Okay, so you guys, you are not about to set me up. One time I was walking outside my house in Maryland and I was walking G throughout the yard and I saw a beautiful yellow turtle and I picked it up and I said, oh, my God, it's a turtle. G almost bit my hand off trying to eat this turtle. And I said, what the fuck? Like, I put this turtle in danger. And so ever since then, like, I will go to different places and I will stare at the kittens just wishing. But it's just like, no, I will not put your life in danger because my dog just wants to be a little fucking bear hunter predator. Like, no, mm mm. Look up Husky and Corgi mix. Oh my. <coughs> oh my God. Probably so cute. He is definitely jealous. He don't like it when people. He doesn't like. One time my trainer, one of my old trainers brought one of his uh, training balls to the house. And he, G, he was like playing with G at first. And then he took the ball from G and G started growling at him. I was just like, what? Because he barely growls at humans. So I was like, hold the fuck. Like, he did not like that he took his his own ball away from G. Like, it was just, it was a lot. Akitas are used to ward of bears in big game. Get a golden doodle? That sounds like a great idea. My kid is the same way. No other dog can show me love when he's around. That's what I'm afraid of. Like, that's what I'm afraid of. So G has black Air Force energy. What does that mean? He's so cute. Get at me for some bandanas for him. I make so many cute ones. Oh, like a cute dog bandana or just like in general? Akitas are known to be aggressive with other animals, yeah. But he means well. If you know how to take care of him, like, if you know how to deal with him, it's going to be fine. You just can't be fearful. Hey, Lola. You just can't be fearful, you know. Wow, you think G is black? All my friends don't think he's black at all, so that's nice. G ain't trying to share his steak. What the fuck? You're damn right. I wouldn't either. Well, I guess I do. Mm, do Akitas do well in really hot temperature? Oh, you guys. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I know this is late and everyone from earlier is probably gone. But the reason I was trying to figure out why why did I initially make the steak steak with no onion and garlic i knew i was going to share with g i forgot that important part i knew i was going to share the steak with g so i was like let me not but that shit was smelling good and i was like well it it works out it, it's working out the way it smells and then the way it tasted mm. If he was able to talk, if you can match him to a voice, who would he sound like? Who would you? So my friend Jay White thinks he would sound like, yup, and uh, yeah, guys, that's what my friend Jay White thinks he sounds like. I think he's giving, oh, my baby, what do you sound like? What do you sound like? Not not Denzel, not Billy Joel. Barry White. 
Judge, no. Ooh, Judge Mathis is a good one. Not Samuel Jackson. Not Uncle Ruckus. Stop. You're hurting me. Stop. Not Sammy Sosa either. Akita's really follow your lead. He may just need some additional training. They are protective, but not vicious. That is true. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> like Joe Clark, Morgan Freeman. Uh, wow, who does he sound like? Y'all, I honestly can't give G a voice. Maybe... You know, maybe he's it's Japanese American. I mean, because he's literally an American Akita, but you know, they the origin is is Japan. So I wonder if that's why. Like, I I don't know. I can't imagine like who, like who in my mind like his voice would his voice sound like? James Earl Jones. I I don't. I think it's um, that Nikwan. Uh, he's not peaceful like Mr. Miyagi at all. So, what does G sound like? Wow. G is DC Fly, really? Okay, I. Okay, you know what? Y'all are taking things too far. Honestly, I don't think G has a voice. I, I can't, I literally can't imagine. He, he's, uh, he, yeah, y'all, I can't, I don't know. No, no, y'all are trifling as hell. I don't know. <gasps> wow, you're thinking, he's, you know what, Michael Ely. No, his voice is not that hot. <laughs> no, no, no. Just a black samurai? So you guys really think he's black? Somebody did not say Meek Mill. Can y'all please stop? Can you please stop? You know what? It might be Jason Derulo. It might be Jason. It might be Jason for sure. Is it Jason? Maybe, no, maybe not Jason. It's definitely not Bernie Mac. It's, oh, is it Lance? It could be Lance. No. <gasps> it's Lance. It's Lance. It's Lance. It's absolutely Lance Gross. He's Lance. <gasps> Lupe. No, he's not Lupe. He's not Lupe. He doesn't have the accent of Chicago. It's giving Lance. But you guys, he's also from Oregon. So he might have a West Coast accent, actually. Well, he's from Oregon, but he grew up in Atlanta. He grew up in Atlanta and where else? New York. So. No, it's not Charlie. He is playful. It's not Bernie Mac. Duran, he is not <laughs> not the game. He is not the game. He's definitely not Snoop. I need I need more, you guys. Y'all, I don't know, but I don't know if we can keep doing this all day. He's Jermaine Dupree. His his um his voice? I don't know. Big Frida. <laughs> no, he does not talk like Big Frida. It's not Big Frida. It's not Lil Baby. Oh, it's Carlton. Maybe it's the voice of Carlton? Mm, Will Smith. Yo. No, it's not Will. It's not. Made in Tokyo. Hey, I haven't seen you in forever. You know what it is? It's Seth. It's Seth motherfucking Rogan. It's Seth Rogan. It's Seth Rogan's voice with a hint of 
I don't know. I can't describe what his voice would be. <laughs> DMX. DMX. No, he's not. I don't feel like he's as. It's not. It's not there. It's not there. It's the voice of a panda. Final offer. Final the end of discussion. You guys, you disrespecting him saying Seth. Why? He's, it's giving Seth. It's low-key giving Seth. It's giving Seth. I think he probably said, Cheap. Cheap, baby. Come here. No, not Michael Sarah. It's not get- <gasps> No, it's Seth. It's Seth Rogen. I think G has the voice of Seth Rogen. But I love y'all so much. G's not... How? Why isn't G Seth? Why is, does it... I'm not saying he's literally Seth. I'm just saying what would his voice sound like? I want to see him now. You can't. He's tired. He don't want to come up. He is not Steve. He's not Steve. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I love y'all. This is getting out of hand because we'll just be going back and forth. Um, Slim, don't talk to me like that. Kevin Gates. No. But um, he is, does not sound like Shaq. But anyway... I love you. Oh, Chris Rock. No, he's not Chris. He doesn't sound like Chris. Wow. Is he Urkel? Oh, Stefan. Is my baby Stefan? He is. He be bumping his head sometimes into the wall. But he's smooth. Oh, my goodness. He's a shit talker for sure because sometimes, oh my God, we be on the streets and he just wants to rip a dog's head off. So I guess he talks like, wow, Stefan. I think he talks like Stefan. Wow. Well, y'all, let's just go to sleep, okay? Hi, I love you. I'm a natural hairstylist and I specialize in natural hair. I would love to service you with a silk press. Thank you, Ashley. I'm just going to wait a few years for that because I'm just growing my hair back and I just don't want any setbacks. No no offense. It's just trying to keep the heat out my hair because it can get addicting. Like, I, you know, I think it's fun sometimes. But I'm just trying to grow my hair, just really grow it, as you can see. Want to see how long it's gotten? I washed it yesterday. She's she's really like, bitch, I'm growing. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Moo. She is growing. See? It's crazy. The sides, the sides really just be like, can you move G's pick? No, but I can move you. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Oh, I will. It's time. Bye, baby. I bet you knew it blew a good thing, baby. <laughs> she is getting there. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, thanks, little wretched soul. Thank you, thank you. Girl, we can't see you. The growth try again. I am naked in my bed. I am naked in my goddamn bed. You thought he was sitting there the whole time. Yo, you're lying. There's no way you thought. 
Me and my dog were fucking mannequins. He would never be that well behaved in his life. Not even for a steak. Not even for a steak. Hey, Ari, one of my goals this year is to get you to try my natural hair care line. I know you will love them. I promote healthy hair here. Oh, dope. Okay, well, just send it to my email, um, coldoutsidemanagement at gmail. Coldoutsidemanagement at gmail. Girl, then go to class, a tall black girl. Go to class. Okay. Okay, can you see it now? She's uh, on the side, she's down to my shoulders. You see? Yeah. Well, it's time to go. Oh, my God. I have so much. (coughs) Sorry. (coughs) I have so much gray. Oh, my God. My bones be cracking like a goddamn fucking Ritz box. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she's she's gray. But yeah, the goal, I just want to grow her back and just put her in a bun all the time. And yeah, I'm going to miss lace fronts though, but I'm not going to miss what they do to my edges. I'm sorry, but my hair can't handle it. I still don't know what y'all do. I'm talking about everybody in the world, what y'all do to ensure that your edges are like safe, but no, I've literally worked with the best of the best, all everyone, and um, I mean, like even like ponytails, like even something as simple as ponytails, like stress my edges out. So I'm just like, nah. Before things get wild, and I know, I know, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's no shade. I just. Just before more hair comes out, I just rather just stay away. Yo, Netflix be scaring the shit out of me out of nowhere. Like, yo, Netflix, relax. Like, that drum little ding thing that comes on in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, Netflix, chill, please. Please. Like, why do you have to scare the fuck out of me? Like why? Like, I, I like I get it. You want me to wake up and watch Netflix, but like you don't gotta scare the hell out of me. How do y'all feel about that? Nurture your curls, wash and go time. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm on. Yo, I, it, it scared the fuck out of me at four a.m. Well, I love y'all. It's time to go. I think I've been on here an hour and a half. Try you or tea part wigs. No lace and glue. But it's just like a you wig. Don't I got the hair hangs. My hair hangs out. And it's just I don't need my hair to be hanging out. I just I think I'm just going to give up because she's just she's just really. She's just really, like, getting thin. And I just... I just can't anymore. Can't stand the rain. Can't stand the rain. Can't stand the rain. Can't stand the rain. So, yeah, there's glueless wigs. Well, nobody wants to, when you say you're good for wigs, like when you say, okay, it's time to wear a wig, nobody wants to hear glueless. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to make sure their work transcends well on the big screen. So nobody wants to do that, you know? Well, people do, but I do, you know, but yeah. Why are we always looking at the ceiling on your live? Because you didn't know me before when I was more free. Are you in L.A.? Yeah. Who are you? Keith? Akeithian? Can I send you my unisex fragrance, Love, by jean Juan? Um, sure. Send it to... I, I don't have a P.O. box, though, and I can't send you my address. I started trying to get one. I think I paid for it and everything. Yeah, I need to follow up with that. But yeah, y'all, it's time to get off here. I've been on for too long. Oh my God, you're in Angolia? Yo, Angola, I'm sorry. Angola, I heard it is so gorgeous there. Hi, I want to see. Hey Ari, saw you in Ghana last week at the hotel. Wanted to say hi, but I, but I clocked that you just wanted to chill. Oh, I'm sorry. I was chilling like shit. Well, hey, baby, how are you? Um, will you visit more African countries like Senegal? Oh, my God. I met this amazing person in L.A. years ago, and he was like, please go to Senegal. You'll fall in love. And ever since then, my ears perked up and uh, about it, and I hear it is breathtaking. Literally, I I want to go. I want to go everywhere. I want to go to every country, every country in the continent of Africa. I'm ready, just ready. You liked my picture of me and my dog, and I can't stop trying to figure out, was it me or the dog that did it for you? Most likely the dog. Your grandma is from Senegal. That's fire. Oh, my God. I miss Nigeria. I was missing Nigeria when I was in Ghana. I wanted to go, but, you know, friends be like, get the hell on, get the friend, get get the hell on, back home before you get in trouble. That's the energy. Every time I go to Africa, this one particular friend gives me. It's just like, can't stay long, go. And I'm just like, uh. So one day, if I plan things right, I would really like to just... Uh, safely, you know, backpack throughout the continent of Africa. It's a very beautiful, very beautiful place. Get the fuck in the camera. No, I don't know if I even have boogers. Like, how about you get the fuck in the camera? Are you a Virgo? Anyway, one of your faves. What you mean, stay true underscore BU? Is Nigeria one of my faves? Absolutely. I love Nigeria. Breathtaking, breathtaking, breathtaking land. Can't stop the rain. Can't stop the rain. Do you like London? Yes. Can't stop the rain. Can't stop the rain. Well, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. You know it's hard for me to leave, y'all, because it'd be like a a therapy session. And that's not good. I, I have my, my therapy session today at 3. Sorry, I'm an Aries. We do not get along with Virgo. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But you know what I found, though? Virgos, like, there's a Virgo that I know. He's, like, 24. And I feel like he likes and cares about me. 
So I feel like he's not as he can't he, that shit. He knows that shit won't work. Like the fuck are you gonna teach me? I mean, of course he could teach me a lot. Or like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you what? You, what you like? What about you makes? What about you is going to make me like listen? The fuck? I am thirty. Sorry if that's ageist. You need a Scorpio, for real. Why you think that, honey? Love music. Why? Ah, oh, I hate when y'all do this. Okay, Beyonce doesn't count. Okay, I love Beyonce. Please don't try me today, cause I love Beyonce, and I will drag all of y'all right back. This is no shade towards Beyonce. This is strict shade towards like the men in my life that are Virgos, or the men that used to be in my life that are Virgos. Even though the Virgo man in my life was raised by a Virgo woman, so yeah. Anything but a Gemini. I've I've literally met some sweet Geminis though. But I guess it's like but you know, I guess it's like everyone's different. But everyone has the opportunity to evolve. Like it's not like I'm an evolved Aries, I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> I am not. Scorpios take your life to a whole other level. Mm, I don't know if I want that. Hey, Juvie. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Juvie, for liking fire signs. I really appreciate that. Oh my God, Juby does love fire signs. I love Juby. Juby is so sweet. I remember being so scared to meet Juby. Like, I was worried that she wouldn't like me. But the fact that you do, Juby, I can't. I just, I'm just so honored that you do because I just really thought you was gonna hate me. And even when you smiled, even when you smiled. Uh, like, I was scared. I was like, wait, is she going to attack? And then your mom was like, no, she's smiling at you. And I'll never forget that. And now I know you just be smiling. You just be smiling. It's so cute. You be waving your little butt. You be just smacking your little butt into everybody's souls. And it's just so sweet. Oh, Tubi. Come play with me on Dog Mountain before you leave us, please. Okay, I will. I promise. I will come out there. I will come out there very shortly. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Ash? All right, let me dance for you. Okay. When you come to Raleigh. I don't know, but I miss Raleigh. Ah, I miss Azul. <laughs> I miss Azul. I just miss how beautiful it is there. <laughs> My dad is a Capricorn. <laughs> oh, wait. What is what is mom? What's your mom? What's your mom's sign? Um, sis, put Cole on a song. Okay, I'll try. I gotta, I gotta get the right songs going first, you know. But that would be fun to do another song with Cole. All right, I love you, my girl. Thank you. Don't love me back, so say it back so we can prove it wrong. Well, guess what? Your girl is right. <laughs> Happy New Year. Need to go. Need to get you back to the A. Okay. Oh, che BJ, what's up? Yeah, I'm trying to get back too. But in time, I'm I'm trying to get the party out of my system. That is my plan for the next uh year. So maybe I'll move back to Atlanta after a year of complete um solitude and um boredom in LA. Woo <laughs> child. Ain't like you're going to walk around outside out here and stumble upon a black bar. It is not like that here. 
You are not stumbling upon a black bar. So, it's definitely a chill, very, like, this is not where I party. Are you back working on the album? No. Oh, the outsider. That would be beautiful. Love Tim's. Love Tim's. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna get off of here in ten minutes. So we'll make that a solid two hours of being on live in 2022. LA is giving. It's giving. I'm just gonna focus on the music and healing and uh therapy and getting healthy that's what it's giving and then after a year of growth maybe it's giving save money saved money can we can get something in atlanta that's you know i don't know i don't fucking know it's okay maybe i'll save it but you know sometimes it won't let me save so Do you do New Year's resolutions? Not really. I just decide as as like the days go on, like when friends are like, you know what? I'm not going to drink for like 20 days. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do that too. And, you know, like I just kind of steal my friends resolutions. But no, no, no. I I do have one. It's um, I just want to finish the second album. That's that's my only goal. I don't even want to perform. I don't want to do nothing but finish the fucking album. That's what's most important to me. How did you stick to the no sugar? Honey, I've been eating so much sugar. I ate so much sugar yesterday. But back in the day, last year, it was just a month. And um, how did I do it? I just, I remember enjoying... It made me enjoy eating protein. I don't know, like it's like I okay, I can't have my sugar. Well, I well I can have my fruit. Like I can have my fruit. I can have um, eggs and cheese. Like it wasn't the healthiest thing because it's not like I did like some alkaline like super super healthy like super like gallon of water every day shit like it was nothing like that i'm sure it would have been more fulfilling maybe if i did do a freaking liters of water every day but i was sad honestly i was sad i remember crying one time i I was talking to my friend my old friend and i was crying he was like just get the fries ari get the fries I was like, no, you're supposed to encourage me to not do it. Just, I just don't want you upset. I'm so dramatic. Have you ever done that Daniel fast? I've never done any type of fast other than like no sugar and like no alcohol. Drinking so much water makes you use the restaurant restroom all damn day. Yeah, the favorite ginger underscore. I um, I don't like that part. Girl, you still on live? Uh, here comes those again. Goodbye. Blocked. Come to the carefree black girl cookout this year i do want to go there that sounds great that sounds great hey jude don't make it bad take a sad song and make it better remember another under your skin and we begin to make it better. Hey, Jude. Come to Dominica. Oh, I want to. Why did I say all oh, like that? I want to. Hi, me. You're like, mommy is up. Take me outside. Boy, five. 
You can wait. You can wait 10 minutes. Yes, you can. Oh, my baby. Yes. Lay right here with me. Lay right here. And we begin to make it better. You smoke hookah, Ari? I did in Ghana. <laughs> I smoked. That was nice. Kyle, boy. I love your voice, babe. Oh, my God. I have a very bad crush on you. Thanks, queen. Sorry. What kind of dog do you have? American Akita? Um... Oh, uh, thanks, El Fuego. All right, you've been on live for three hours now. Oh, it has been three? Thank you for getting me throughout my morning. Oh, it's been three? I thought it was two. <laughs> That's terrible. Did you get the chance to link with Ricky and Denzel in Ghana? No, they were in Ghana too. Damn, I would love to meet. I would love to meet Denzel. Love you too, singer type. Oh, my God. If you don't know what kind of dog Ari has, goodbye. Yo, can we talk about it? <laughs> but no, we are not entitled. We are not entitled to them knowing who my dog is. Like, are you kidding me? Maybe they just came here. Maybe they just came here from a long voyage from somewhere. Okay, maybe they just got on IG for the first day. Maybe they just found out about my music. An hour ago, you want to judge them for not knowing my freaking dog's breed? That is, I don't know what it is, but it's giving Virgo. They don't have to know G by now. They don't have to know anything. Hi, baby. Hi. And we begin to make it better. Hey, dude. You've been on for two hours. I thought it was only two. Somebody said I've been on here for three hours. Well, it don't matter because I'm going to be off here in five minutes. Thank you, I am Queen0989. Can I see your face? No, because I don't know if I have crust. Boy, what was you about to do to me? My goodness. Boy. Oh my God, he's not playing. Yo, he's getting into this mode where you stop Stop scratching him, and then he gets crazy. He's like trying to smush me with his whole body. You're definitely not getting off in five minutes. Yo, gee, you cannot lean on me like this. You're too heavy. Boy. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you. He gave me a kiss. I don't care if it was five hours. I'd still be here. <gasps> Estefanini, you're so sweet. Oh, I met this amazing woman in Ghana, and I forgot her name. She's a comedian. She's everything. I could not believe I met her there. It was the coolest moment ever because I never thought. I would ever meet her. It was so cool. He trying to take you out? <laughs> I've had a whole therapy session and a phone call and Ari's still on live. Oh, good for you. The fuck? Yo, let me tell you something. One time I was talking to this boy. I was like, yo, like I feel like something's changing and... He was like, what? You know, you said you needed your space, so I, I gave it to you. And I was just like, yeah, but n n clearly I don't want my space. Like, 
And um, he was like, well, let me just call you back after I eat. Just call you back after I eat. Yo, two fucking hours went by. Two hours, two hours and 37 minutes went by. I had a, I was on the phone with my dad for like two of them hours. And I, as soon as I got off that phone, I blocked his ass. I said, oh, absolutely the fuck ass not. It takes you three hours to get something to fucking eat. Do you know how many things I did in three hours? Like, absolutely not. Just a fucking... You can't catch the fish with your bare hands. You can't do it. You can't. You can't do it. And I will never try again. I will never try again with the Pisces ever in my life. No. No. Aries need space, but don't need space with their space. Okay, can we talk about it? Forever money. What you drinking now, Ari? She stayed drunk. Um, I haven't drank anything um in like four days, so. <laughs> what you drinking on, bitch? Anyway. <sighs> Thanks, KJ Sounds, uh, but I don't believe you. Maybe he had lunch with friends and they were having a time. No. Have lunch with these. It's over. But I love you guys so much. The time, the hour is approaching. It's 7.58. You guys have a beautiful, lovely day. It's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day. Have a great fucking day. And if it's not great, I pray that you feel better because I know how depression works, sadness works, and terrible news works. I understand. Maybe not in depth, maybe not specifically, but... Gee, don't puke. But yeah. No, we still have two minutes. No, baby, we have one. Have a great day, J underscore law. Love you, only one, Damani. Oh, y'all are so lovely. Why am I waving like this? <laughs> Bye. Thank you for your talks. Love you. You have a good one, too. Oh, love you, too, yo, Jayla. This was great. Thanks for everyone who stayed the whole time. Y'all are great. Love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. My uh, wretched ways, my words, my imperfections, my perfections, my lives, my music. I love you guys so much. So, so much. Love you. Bye. Bye. Sending love. Have a good day at work. Good day at school. Okay, G, I'm about to take you out, baby. Give me one minute. All right. Love y'all. Bye.